People don't really understand how the economic model works in China. They think that it's a very centralized system with a dominant state, but it's really political centralization and economic decentralization, a very horizontal a system on the ground that's galvanizing creativity from the bottom up. Yes, there are top-down decisions uh, made and macro strategies and objectives determined at the top central level, but how China spurred innovation is very much a, a, a grounded story. If you look at unicorns coming, uh, Chinese unicorns, which is second to the US, they're scattered all around China, even in second tier cities like Wuhan, Chengdu, uh, Hefei, etc. Maybe cities that most of us have never heard of. And how that has happened is the important role played by the local officials. In my book, I call them the mayor economy as opposed to the market economy. But what it really represents is that there's a close collaboration often with the private entrepreneurs and promising private entrepreneurs and the local officials where local officials enable uh, private entrepreneurs, whether it's helping them coordinate state financing or helping them build a supply chain, attract talent, all these really essential elements of success, especially for still a developing country where institutions are not completely um, uh, mature. And what people don't see is that that kind of uh, decentralized model is actually how China reformed. The local mayor started reforms by breaking rules, so they were extremely entrepreneurial. And if you can imagine in the US, um, a city mayor goes and does all these very entrepreneurial activities and in three years time they're rotated to another city and replicate the same model. This is how the competition keeps the local officials in check and uh, this is how China has done creativity.